this is Rob Swatsky from the York campus of Harrisburg Area Community College in York, Pennsylvania. And this is the first of a two-part podcast reviewing the bones and bony landmarks of the facial bones. Here in part one, I'll be reviewing the nasal bones, the lacrimal bones, the palatine bones, the inferior nasal conchi, the vomer, and the zygomatic bones. The nasal bones are two small, flat, rectangular bones that form the bridge of the nose, with the rest of the nose being composed of cartilage. In addition to being the location of where your eyeglasses sit, the nasal bones protect the upper nasal cavity and are also attachment points for some of the small facial muscles. The nasal bones are small, but the lacrimal bones are the smallest of the facial bones. They are a pair of thin fingernail shaped bones that are found just posterior and lateral to the nasal bones and also form part of the medial wall of the orbits. The root lacrim means tears and the lacrimal bones possess a lacrimal fossa a groove that contains the lacrimal sac, which passes the collected tears from the eye into the nasal cavity. The palatine bones are a pair of bones shaped like the letter L that form the posterior part of the hard palate, the floor and lateral wall of the nasal cavity, and a small area of the orbital floor. The hard palate is the bony roof of the mouth and the horizontal plates make up the posterior portion of the hard palate. The inferior nasal conchi are a pair of separate curved bones located just inferior to the middle nasal conchi of the ethmoid bone. They form a part of the inferior lateral wall of the nasal cavity and also project into it. And just like the superior and middle nasal conchi of the ethmoid bone, the inferior nasal conchi also help increase the surface area of the nasal cavity as well as swirl and filter the incoming air. The vomer is a triangular bone located on the floor of the nasal cavity. At its superior edge, it articulates with the perpendicular plate of the ethmoid bone as well as the sphenoid bone and on its lower inferior surface it articulates with the maxillae and palatine bones. Its thin blade-like shape forms the inferior part of the nasal septum which divides the nasal cavity into right and left sides. And the last facial bones I'll review in part one are the zygomatic bones, the cheekbones which form part of the lateral wall and floor of the orbits. This pair of bones articulates with the frontal, temporal, sphenoid, and maxilla bones. Their major bony landmark is the temporal process of the zygomatic bone, which projects posteriorly and articulates with the zygomatic process of the temporal bone, together forming the zygomatic arch. Okay, that concludes part one of the Facial Bones podcast. In part two, I'll be reviewing the maxillae and mandible, the upper and lower jaw bones. I hope this podcast has helped in your review of the bones of the axial skeleton. Thanks for watching. Bye.